Because the film is, um, has so many different aspects to it in terms of um, different characters, different stories, and we figured that the best way to approach um, and to help emphasize that would be to kind of have different musical scores for each story in the film. It has uh, almost like an opening and a closing theme, but throughout the, the interweaving of the stories, there's different feelings. Me and Adam have worked uh, together on films in the past, and uh, he just uh, rang me up and said, I've got this new film, and uh, could I help out on the music? It was nice being able to work with the film already in front of me. Um, a lot of the time you have to guess what the film's going to look like. You have to start writing thematic material before you've actually been given any footage. But in this case, Adam gave me all the footage so I could just write music to that. I can um, look at the entire process, start to finish for the Lemmings, um, see how his attitude changes, how his depression grows, and I can match that with the music. It deteriorates and it gets more intense and darker. And it's very much functional in that sense in that it degenerates along with his mood and his status. I'd seen some of the film and I was interested in getting involved with the project. And there are a few thoughts on which direction the piece would take, uh, so I came up with a few ideas sent those across to Adam and Alex. Uh, they then decided on a theme, uh, the one that they liked best. It was an underscore essentially, so it wasn't supposed to be too prominent. Just keeping that main theme going in the background, adding a melody in. The music for the final scene was essentially an arrangement of the opening scene. It was a collaborative work and I composed the piano part for that. Um, it reminds us where the film began and where we're at now in the final scene. That bit there, really, is to represent running. The music in the film is very diverse. Um, it was, it's unusual you have a film that's three different composers. Each its score has a very, has its own unique content. Well, the Riven the Sing has a, has a dialogue, and it doesn't have any sound design behind it. The, the, the place is um, almost empty. What the track does, it gives certain pulse to the scene, and eventually end up in, a, in an intense kind of, of moment where, where he reaches conclusion. Okay. 